Everyone, we are here at Snowflake Conference and I'm super excited to be with the one and only Sarang Bapad from Mitsubishi. Sarang, uh, welcome to the Ravid Show. It's your debut. I'm super excited to chat about various things around data governance, data quality, data observability and much more. Also, yeah, I think we should be talking a little yes. bit about that too. Yeah. But uh, just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Mitsubishi. Sure. Thanks, Ravid, for uh, the opportunity. Yeah, for sure. Uh, my name is Sarang Bapad. I'm part of uh, data governance team at Mitsubishi Electric Train USA, otherwise called as Metas. Uh, so, started a data governance program at uh, Metas about two, two and a half years ago. And uh, it's kind of a greenfield approach. We just started pretty much from scratch on uh, trying to uh, implement our data strategy, data governance strategy. And at the end of all that, it's more about uh, how can we deliver the analytic insights for our customers. So. We have been doing well so far, a uh, lot more to come as we have, we are at the Snowflake conference, so we, Snowflake is one of our platforms. Nice. Uh, so we'll talk about that more. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and yeah, like at, since we are here at Snowflake conference, uh, obviously, and y'all have been using Snowflake too, I would love to know a little bit about that. Uh, uh, but I, I'm also kind of curious to know how do you propose tackling data quality issues in an age where everyone wants to build AI and I'm pretty sure the conversations that you are having here as well at conference, everyone's kind of excited about AI. Can you share a little bit about that too? Yeah, so I think a lot of the tools are there and they're assuming that a lot of the data quality is there for the cool things that they're going to do. But at the end of the day, if the data that you're feeding into your AI models is not good, of good quality, uh, you're kind of starting from scratch on what outcomes you're going to get. Yeah, so, so true. I think data governance and data quality is a key piece of implementing any of your AI strategies going forward. Yeah, uh, I think uh, 100%. And uh, I'm kind of curious to know what are you hearing from the customers and even from internally where, while you all are using, you know, different tools, different products, what are you all focusing on uh, when it comes to governance, when it comes to data quality, what's like the piece that you all look, out, look for? I think one of the big things uh, that I look for and we are kind of implemented that in our strategy is uh, simplicity. Our ability to actually be able Very to important. do things in terms of you know finding the data, understanding it, trusting yep. uh, in a simple fashion that our business stakeholders can understand and implement and use. Because at the end of the day, I think our strategy is we have a COE at the center and execution is federal. So it's very important for our customers to understand our stakeholders to what and how to use these tools. And for that, it needs to be extremely simple and straightforward to implement. So that has been my focus on implementing That's lovely. the Yeah, Sarang, one more quick question that I have is, when you think about AI, what sort of data literacy or maybe even the AI literacy that you feel that enterprise leaders should must have uh, while even choosing a tool or even working uh, in AI, right? Yeah, I, I think a lot of times leaders kind of hear things in the marketplace on new things that are coming <laughs> up on the AI, right? Yeah. And not all solutions require AI. It's yeah. a fact of the thing, right? So yep. uh, it's very important for you know, leaders to kind of understand what your data landscape is, what is the problem that you're trying to solve, and then go after figuring out what the latest tool is or the technology is. But before that, it's kind of uh, putting the cart before the horse, right? You don't want to do that. You need to educate yourself on right? how things are going and what really problem that you're trying to attack. Okay, uh, one more quick question that I have for you, and those are fantastic insights, Sarang. Uh, but one quick question that I had was around, do you see data governance and AI governance uh, separate, or what's the difference there? Because I kind of hear a lot from my audience as well that, okay, what's now the new AI governance, and what's the data governance? Can you differentiate that for us? Yeah, so I think the way I see it, Rev, it is, if you think about data governance, it is about uh, finding the data, understanding it, and trusting it for your analytics insights. Right. So it is all about the life cycle of your data, is about the data governance. If you talk about the AI governance, it's more about the model life cycle. Right. So the how the models are built, how explainable they are, how fair they are, those types of things. Now if you think about the audience for data governance, it is more about your data stewards, your uh, compliance folks, for the AI governance, the compliance is still in play, but yep. it's also legal, 
yeah. and your data scientists instead of data stewards, more like your data scientists are part of the equation. Right. And then, if you think about the tools that are in play, you're talking about like the data catalog, data quality for governance. For AI, you will notice things like explainability, explainability. tools, uh, yep. model performance, those types of tools. You're monitoring what's the perform, how well the models are performing, yeah. and things yeah. like that. So I think that's the difference. One caveat is that all the data you're feeding into your analytics models is coming from yeah. your base data. So if your data governance isn't good, the AI governance wouldn't matter. Right? So, so AI, it's not one or the other. It, you have to do both really well. Data quality and AI uh, goes hand in hand and data foundation I think is what you kind of trying to point out should be very much in place when you're kind of thinking about AI implementation. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Sarang, one more last question for you is if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about different things that you're doing in the space, where can they reach out to you? Uh, connect me with LinkedIn. Nice. Uh, Sarang Bapad, I'm the Director of Data Governance at Metas. So please contact me there. Thank you. Sarang, such a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks for taking the time out. It is always a pleasure. I know we've been connected since a while now, but this was our opportunity to catch up here at Snowflake Summit and discuss about everything around AI, data governance, data quality, and you shared some amazing insights. Awesome. Thank you, Ravi. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching us.